what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so i'm here once again with my preview and predictions for wwe payback man um be honest with you i haven't really been looking forward to this particular pay-per-view um not because I, I i think it's gonna be bad i just hadn't really had the same excitement that i've had for other pay-per-views that we've uh, had uh for at least the past year and a half so it's, it's not one of those things where i was like oh yeah i'm looking forward to payback or whatnot i actually forgot that it was this week <laughs> um so it's just one of those type of things where it's like not like just excited as i normally would be but that doesn't mean there aren't some matches on here that i am looking forward to and maybe this could be a, a pretty good show uh so far the shows for wwe have been pretty entertaining so i am willing to give it a chance it's just initially i wasn't just like looking forward to it it's just like ah all right let's see what happens so we're gonna go through the card and give my thoughts and predictions on who's gonna win who's gonna lose and we're gonna get right into this one so we're gonna start with la Knight and the miz i'm actually looking forward to this this is probably the match i'm looking forward to the most uh, i want to see what they do in the ring but it's simple la Knight needs to win he does not need to be losing to the miz no disrespect to the miz and they've had an interesting back and forth la knight needs to get this win if they continue on a feud um maybe i mean i, I like what they're doing they could do a feud here so I, I i'm not sure but off this first match this first interaction in the ring la knight gets the win and they may continue it i wouldn't have a problem if they extended it uh to another another pay-per-view um but definitely la knight needs to get the win here Becky Lynch versus Trish uh, Stratus Steel Cage match. Am I looking forward to this? Not really. Am I wanting this feud to be over? Yes. I, I do have Becky Lynch winning it and her moving forward to something else. Maybe uh, to Rhea Ripley at some point or someone else uh, in the women's division. But I think this feud is overstated. It's welcome. Do I think it could be a fun match? I do think it can be a fun match. I Hopefully it is. But I'm going with Becky Lynch to win it in the feud and we move forward. So it's one of those type of things where I'm just ready for it to end. But I do feel like they can at least end it on a high note in the steel cage. So I'm going for Becky Lynch to win this match. United States Championship. Ray Mysterio versus Austin Theory. Um, I think the match will be fun. Me personally, I do think Ray needs to retain. Um, they got to do something with Austin Theory. I think they need to repackage him or something. He's his character uh, hasn't really done much of anything notable outside of beating John Cena. It's been kind of middle of the road. It's not that uh, his in ring work is pretty good. It's just his character it's just so kind of bland even as a heel people just hasn't haven't really cared as much as you think they should i'm okay with ray retaining maybe they do something with lwo with uh santo escobar potentially getting jealous i know they don't want to kind of break that up because they're pushing some good merch but i do think there's a story to tell that ray came in pretty much picked up the pieces got won the match and santos couldn't because of an injury and you know maybe they do tell a story there I, I would be interested if they did do that but i have Rey mysterio retaining and they do something with austin theory have him pretty much um have him uh i guess you can say uh you know do something freshen up his character all right now we're going with the undisputed wwe tag team championship kevin owens and Sami Zayn versus damian priest and finn balor uh a steel city street fight didn't even know this was a uh uh an actual thing um i'm a this is this is an interesting one because um i do feel like the judgment day damon priest and finn balor could use the win but i do think there's gonna be obviously some issues with them they've been trying to you know patch their issues 
but I do think there's going to be issues with them that cause them to lose this match. And I'm going with Kevin Owen and Sami Zayn to still retain. I don't think it's time for them to take the titles off them yet. We just got Kevin Owens back from injury. So um, I, I think it would make sense to still keep the titles on them. But I do think this is going to cause some real dissension um, between Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Um, um, and, and obviously, I think JD is going to be in the mix in this and may cause some issues as well uh so yeah i'm i think that the story they're gonna tell is they were probably just about to win the titles but something happened between damian priest ben balor or jd being involved and it causes them to lose so i think the storyline is going to be more important for what they're trying to do with judgment day rather than winning the titles from Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn retaining. That's where I think things are going to go. Women's World Championship match. Rhea Ripley versus Raquel Rodriguez. I do think this is going to be an interesting match. Looking forward to seeing what they do there. Um, but I do think Rhea will retain. The question is, will she retain by cheating? Or will she retain by just actually beating down Raquel? Hopefully, I, I think the story may be going with, you know, obviously attacking Raquel's injured leg, injured knee. I think that may be the story. But I honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want Rhea to cheat just yet. I think there may be some shenanigans, maybe Dominic getting involved. Because you want to keep Raquel strong. You want to extend this feud. So you want to have a reason for Raquel to have another rematch because Dominic got involved or some shenanigans happened and I think having Rhea have some type of assistance maybe not so much her cheating but having some assistance from Dominic could definitely get some more heel heat on them and obviously have that case for Raquel to be like yo I almost had you but Dominic got involved so to extend the feud because I do think this is something that people will be interested in. So I'm going with Raquel to lose this match. Rhea uh, will retain a championship with some type of shenanigans involved. And last but not least, the World Heavyweight Championship, Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, I do think the match will be good. I do like the fact that, you know, Shinsuke is talking about uh Seth Rollins being injured not really being at 100% and that's been the rumors that he hasn't really been totally 100% having some I think back issues or whatnot I like that they played up to that back but even though I like what they're doing with Shinsuke and he's getting a finally uh, a main event um run here we haven't seen that in quite some time he I don't see him winning it's just not the time for Seth to lose yet um, I don't even know if he's going to even lose it anytime before WrestleMania, to be honest with you. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go with Seth Rollins retaining. I do think it's going to be a, a, uh, um, a close match, how they're going to book it. But I have Seth Rollins retaining the title. I just don't think it's time for uh, him to drop it. Um, I don't know if they continue the feud, maybe to extend it. I don't know who else right now i mean there's other people you can put into that spotlight but honestly if personally i i, I do not see them um taking the titles off of seth yet so i'm gonna go with uh seth retaining the titles and maybe they extend the few going forward to another pay-per-view we'll see but i'm going with that and overall man it, it could be a good show i'm hoping it's gonna be a good show i was looking forward to um hoping that they were gonna put gunther and chad gable on on this card but i guess they'll probably do something for monday night raw because i didn't check out the previous monday night raw um chad gable and gunther i would have loved to have seen on a pay-per-view and have them really go at it but we'll see what happens with that going forward but overall I'm, I'm glad the card's not too long. It gets straight straight to the point. And uh, I'm interested to see what happens. So comment down below. Let me know who do you guys have winning? Who do you guys have losing? Why and why not? Let me know down below. And are you guys excited for payback this Saturday? Or are you kind of been 
kind of middle of the road or haven't really been caring to check it out um let me know your thoughts and opinions on payback and how you feel about it going into the show but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on channel road to 150k and i'm still young to be the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace